What's up guys? My name is Zidane. Welcome to Hamach YouTube channel. Today we're gonna build the biggest mining operation I've ever done with six Z9 minis and three 1,600 watt power supplies from BitcoinMerch.com. But before we start, when we mine, we have to put those cryptocurrencies somewhere. So we're gonna put it in our today's sponsor's wallet, Crypto.com. Crypto.com is an app and a wallet to host all your cryptocurrency assets. And what's cool about it, that you can actually get interest just by holding them. So you mine the cryptocurrency, you put them into your Crypto.com wallet, hold it and get even more crypto just by having it in your wallet. That's just awesome. They also have their own card that you can use and get also points back to your account as crypto as well. So that's pretty cool. Check them out in the link in the description below. Before we start setting it up, we first have to make sure we have all the equipment ready for us. So we have six Z9 minis from Bitmain. Those are used, those are not new because they don't make it anymore. They have newer versions, but they are impossible to get. And we have three of the 1,600 watt power supplies. Now you can use 1,000 watts for those. Uh, you don't have to use 1,600 because each one of those takes between 300 and 500 watts. But I like to always go overboard and make sure I have all the power. And I also have all the plugs I need so I don't have to go and buy more cables. We also need a network switch because each one of those miners actually have an Ethernet cable. So you have to plug it in to the Ethernet and you probably don't have enough. I don't have enough plugs on my modem. So we're going to use that net gear right here and plug all of them right here. And we also need the network cables because of this. So we also got six of them. Now in total, I pay $102 for the network switch and the cables. The network switch is 40 bucks and those cables are about nine bucks each. You might be able to get this cheaper on Amazon. The power supplies are a bit more expensive. They're like $400 each because they're hard to find and they're very powerful at 1,600 watts or more. The Z9 minis also their price went up to about 400, 500 bucks because they are profitable. So every time a miner is profitable or a GPU or whatever, the price goes up. It's just how it is. All right, so this is all the equipment we need. We also need like some power strips and power cables, but those are not impossible to get. Just make sure you get good quality stuff. So let's find out how much money can we make from this mining rig and how much money it's gonna cost us in electricity. Let's go. So we're gonna start by plugging in power to the Z9. And I wanna show you some tricks that nobody really talked about much and that you can actually slide those miners together to combine them. Boom, look at that. Now they are one unit and they're easier to move around and to you know take care of. Each of the Z9 have four of the ports right here to plug it into the power supply. So make sure you have enough cables and make sure your power supply is at least 1000 watts to power two of them, okay? So we're gonna plug in the PCIe power cords. We're gonna need eight of them. Each cable has two. All right, we got that going. We also need the 24 pin uh, plug, not to power up any motherboard or anything, because this is a motherboard cable. The jumper is included from BitcoinMerch.com, which is good. Uh, but basically, it's this, basically a jumper. You can see the little cable right there, and we're just gonna plug it in like this. So then, it will start right away. So this is all this cable is doing. It's just giving it that jumper right here, that little loop, so it can start the power supply without the computer. We are now gonna plug in the power to all of those connections. So right here, here's one, and there's two. Each one has four, so make sure you plug into all of them. Make sure you don't miss this one. This is for the board itself. It also needs power. So we're gonna plug in one to the board as well. Boom. We're gonna do the same thing for the Z9 over here. And we're gonna plug the power to the power supply and make sure that you have a good quality thick cable like this. Spend money on this cable because if you get cheap one, you might burn your house. <laughs> the small ones with a lot of draw of power like this can burn your house. It will melt down, be like a noodle, very hot cable, not good. Invest in your cables. I'm just basically doing the same thing all over again. Copy paste, the same setup. So this is the ATX 24 pin with the plug. Plug in right here and we're gonna plug in the rest of the cables. Our next step is to set up our Netgear switch with our six uh, Ethernet cables. Plug it in to our Ethernet connection because they have to be connected to the Ethernet in order to mine. So go ahead and plug in all six of them. 
The first one will be saved for our Ethernet connection. I'm gonna connect the Ethernet cable right there too. All right. So here's the final setup. I did pretty nicely with the cables. I managed to organize them a little bit right there. Here's the switch with all the six of the channels plugged in. This white cable goes to the router and we're ready to go. This is my router and in the back, as you can see here, I have an extra plug right there. This is gonna connect to our mining operation. All right, guys, it's ready to go. I had to use some extension cords because you can't plug in everything to one socket. It will just jump the whole house. <laughs> it's not recommended, but it's the only way to do it right now. So um, let's go ahead and plug them all in and see what's the next step. Oh, that's the most satisfying part for sure. All right. And you can see all of them are plugged into the network and ready to go. All right, guys, so we are back on the computer and the first thing we do is install advanced port scanner. You can find it online. It's free and it will find all the miners that connected to the network. Now, my network is 192.168.50.1, but a lot of times it's different. It's 192.168.1.1. So make sure you check your network from your router to see. But anyways, I was scanning this and found six miners right here you can see them very easy and i'll be able to click on them directly and log in to the miners and change the settings there so i get the mining profits i don't know if you can hear it it's kind of loud so it's going to be a little bit loud in the living room but doesn't matter we love crypto let's go all right so here we are on the six different miners you can see my tabs here all of them are right here let's make sure first that they're working i go to miner stats as you can see it's mining 11.5 kilosols that's the speed that it's mining the equihash algorithm that's what the z9 mines and let's make sure all of them are mining this one is 10.9 this one 10.8 this one is 10.7 11.6 and 11.85 you see they have a little bit of differences between them depending on how hot they get or how lucky you are with the chips anyways they all look good but we have to change the settings to our mining operation so we get the money right so we're gonna go to minor configuration and this is the default from bitmain directly that's their default settings and we're gonna change that to nice hash again you don't have to use nice hash you can go ahead and use other pools might be a little bit cheaper i just like the settings and the easiness of nice hash so we're gonna use that right now and we're gonna go to nice hash right here uh asic mining and i'm gonna scroll down a little bit and choose equal hash that's what we are uh mining equal hash and i'm gonna choose us west i live in the us on the west side so we're gonna generate an address and we're gonna copy paste this and copy paste our uh, username which is a bitcoin address it can be any bitcoin address uh, but i'm going to choose the nice hash bitcoin address they uh, made for me and password will be x so i'm going to go ahead and do that to all the settings here well, i also went to the bitcoinmerch.com website you see ant minus z9 mini we can see what kind of mineable coins we can use you can use zcash hush pirate and all those coins but also i can see what kind of algorithm it's mining it's mining equal hash and this is how i know on a nice hash or whatever whatever pool you're using which address uh stratum address to use so i've been mining for a little bit of time and i even overclocked the miner for a little bit by going to minor configuration advanced settings and changing it to 600 megahertz instead of 500. it's a little bit overclocked and because of this i'm actually getting 13 kilo souls each miner as you can see here 13 13 12.9 13 12.8 13.5 very good on nice hash i'm making 16.1 dollars per day that's 483 dollars per month mining with six z9 minis in my house but you can see the number is changing now it's 14 dollars it'll go up and down and up and down but uh, let's say 450 bucks per month but we can also calculate how much electricity are we spending and there's a lot of tools out there online to uh, calculate those things just like minor stat right here has a pretty accurate uh, uh, way to calculate it uh, I did put 2000 watts but we have to go check actually how much we are pulling I just plugged a watt meter to this power supply that runs those two Z9 minis right here and here it is we are drawing 660 watts for two 
and we have six over here as you can see six running at the same time which means that for the whole thing it's 2000 watts for this whole system that's a lot of power and now we can calculate how much electricity it's going to cost me in california and you know everywhere it's different but we're going to see how much in california it's going to cost me and you're going to calculate yourself to see how much it's going to cost you in your area let's go all right we're back and we are actually mining 2000 watts i was right so 2000 watts that's all the time running 24 7 and 20 cents is how much i pay per kilowatt hours in california every state is different every place is different some places pay only eight cents so that makes a huge difference in your profits per month right or some people even have free because they have solar but we're gonna focus on what i'm paying but you can calculate on your own to check your power bill how much are you paying per kilowatt hours all right so um 20 cents per kilowatt hours 2000 watts that's cost about nine dollars and sixty cents per day just for electricity if we deduct that from our 14 dollars 13 dollars per day income we are making about three dollars and seventy cents per day it seems like we're doing a little bit better with nice hash for some odd reason we're getting 12 to 16 dollars a day so about four dollar profit per day times 30 is 120 dollars profit in california most expensive electricity ever uh for six z9 minis it does have a lot of equipment involved and there's a lot of investment involved right let's add up all the items to cart and see how much it's gonna cost us to build a rig like this save yourself some money and get uh this 1000 watt power supply it's half the price but we can we're gonna still need three of them if we're adding those three power supplies 1000 watts and then six z9 minis it comes up to 3100 89 dollars this is not cheap guys and it's gonna take a while to pay it back if you're only making 120 bucks a month profit you can see it's gonna take you a few years to pay it back unless you are paying very low for electricity then you're making two three hundred bucks a month that means in a year you can pay this off this is usually what happens in a year you pay off all your equipment that's pretty cool i did spend a hundred bucks on best buy for the switch and for the ethernet cables but you might be able to save some money on amazon just buying the cheap stuff maybe we'll add it to bitcoinmerch.com too so you can add it and uh, it will be cheaper than buying it on best buy so total cost for this rig is about 3300 bucks and by the way the rack itself i forgot to mention is from home depot it only costs 25 bucks for the rack so that's pretty cheap to get it i don't really like the wood type of uh, mining rigs set up because they might burn into flames so here is the final mining rig i love making this project it was really fun so don't forget to subscribe and check out my instagram as well because i do giveaways and all kind of stuff so comment below what you think about this setup and see you guys next time peace